Hello again, this is Paolo and in this video we are going to talk about three activities and resources that you can use to replace the Flash content that you want to update. Let's get right into it. Lesson Activity is one of the coolest activities in Moodle and OpenLMS. It allows you to create HTML pages with content such as videos, images, text and so on. It also allows you to create questions and add those questions as part of the navigation of your lesson. And this is very important because it differentiates the lesson activity from other activities and resources uh, because using those navigation elements you can select using something called jumps to direct your students to different pages or different places in your lesson content depending on what responses they provide. This is very cool because it allows you to create uh, things like uh, scenario-based activities and simulations and so on. Number two is to use H5P. H5P is somewhat like a Lego box of interactive content options. It, its name is actually Interactive Content Activity, uh, and you can see that on the Activities user. And with H5P, you can create things like interactive video, for example, the one that pauses and that allows you to select answers on, on, a, on a prompt quiz, uh, interactive presentations, timelines, and, and much more, much more. One of the most helpful parts of H5P is that you can actually download content and unload that into your site and you can allow your content to be downloaded uh, so you can share resources and share practices on how you build interactive content. Be sure to check out the links below. Uh, we will provide some links to demos, examples, and not only for the H5P component but also resources that are relevant to the lesson activity and some of the other topics that we are covering here. Number three is to use labels, pages, and video. There is a lot of flexibility in using HTML to add content to your pages and to your labels, uh, but there's something very cool that we wanted to share here in, in this specific area, and that's the ability to directly create video on your uh, content by using the record RTC component. You can click on the little button that you find in the editor and you can record audio or record yourself from your camera connected to your PC on your smartphone. And this will allow you to directly embed the content once you recorded it directly from the interface. This saves a lot of time, this is super convenient and we can't wait for you to try this. Pro tip, this is also available for students, for example, when they're submitting responses in, in their assignments. So that's a very cool activity type that you can promote inside your courses. Well, there you have it. These are just some of the options that you have available in OpenLMS to update your Flash content. Let us know what you think. Will you be using these ones or maybe you have already selected uh, some other tools that you want to use to update your Flash content? Let us know in the comments. I think the, the whole community could benefit from knowing what practices can be used in this case. Thank you very much for your attention and I'll see you in the next video.